Hey guys, how's it going? It's 8-Bit Eric, and I was just tipped off on some possibly big retro gaming news, so it's no secret. I'm a big fan of arcade one-ups and arcade games in general, but there was a tweet out by a Mark Julio that presented an interesting, possibly huge, if true, discovery. So... What did I just stumble upon? MBSX. Is this real? I've always been a huge fan of the big red SNK arcade cabs. Just look at this control panel. So you can see right here, this actually looks like a Neo Geo arcade bar type type of uh, console thing. And you can see right here, he continues to tweet saying arcade home modes for 50 game so 50 neo geo masterpieces both mvs and aes mode supported bring back the golden times so you can see i mean these are the best of the best you got the king of fighter series the metal metal slugs you got the samurai showdowns you got the world heroes basically everything you can think of even like the random stuff like football frenzy and things like that top players golf um if this is real, and there is a website, which we're going to take a look at, this is big. So, similar to Arcade 1UP, he says, they also have a base to extend the product's height. However, the base is much taller, as the MVSX appears to be a table desk mini arcade. Neat. So, you can see the bar top. I guess the basic thing is 25 inch, and then 32 inch is the actual base and then it has like the fake uh insert coin thing like that and then they say uh browsing around the site there's more info highlighted for each game that's included with the mvsx now you gotta figure out if you want this he said i gotta figure out if i want this on my kitchen countertop so you can see this website actually has a lot of info for the games and things like that so we're, what we're gonna do is we're gonna browse this website because this is huge i i absolutely think these arcade replicas are phenomenal i know some people frown on them uh for example shady j just absolutely hates these things um he uh he gets pretty upset <laughs> in regards to these arcade machines for me i think they're a cool um alternative option they make things easy to move around they're lug they're in good shape and condition they're nice there are great ways of playing these games without having to spend thousands of dollars for an authentic one. So here we go. Neo Geo MVS X says release date October 2020 on the bottom. And you can see MSRP $499.99. And there's even a buy link. You know what? Let's click that. So US, Canada, Mexico, South America, Europe, Russia. So doesn't seem like there's anything to actually click on but it's a msrp of uh 49 499.99 with the base included and then it looks like it's a hundred dollars less without the base so that's interesting so here we go we got the king of fighters collection in it the metal slug collection samurai showdown collection fatal fury collection World Heroes and Art of Fighting, which I love those. And then the Classic Collection, Sports Classic. So 50 games, uh, that's actually pretty good. That's a lot of fighting games, though. That's like over half of them being a fighting game. So let's look at this. What's included in the MBSX? The System, Power Supply, Quick Start Guide, a Terry Bogard figure, and a Yagami figure. So that's nice. Does the MVSX support the original game cartridges? No, there's no ability to load original MVS cartridges on the MVSX. It's the MVSX, MVSX two players. It is. They can play two players at the same time with the control panel. And uh, here we go. What games are there and how many are listed? So pretty straightforward website, if you ask me. Uh, October 2020, so that's only two months away. This is big in the media so no press quotes no system previews no gift guides yet uh this is real 
I know there's people speculating whether it was real or not, but this is actually, this looks like this might just very well be one of the best little arcade cabinets out there ever since the arcade one-up started coming out. There's been a few other companies. Look at this. Showing off. Look at the control panel. Look at that. That, that is like authentic. That's like what I used to play at Pizza N back in Fort Worth as a kid. Look at this. Look at the, the marquee. My goodness. Okay, I'm pretty much sold on this. I'm definitely going to be getting this somehow. Just because Neo Geo games in general are absolutely ridiculous in price. So 17-inch display. Panel fits two players perfectly. Game image, pixel to pixel scale, scan line support, specifications. Here we go. Yeah, this is this looks like it's going to be pretty good, in my opinion. I'm absolutely sold. I saw this. I was like, you know what? I'm going to have to... Oh, man, look, we got some videos. Oh, wait, no, not yet. Ah, oh, what a tease. They made it look like there was a couple of preview videos down here at the bottom. I'm sure we'll get some pretty soon. But I'm sold. This I don't need to be convinced. Honestly, I saw this. I was informed about it, actually, from one of my good friends, RGT85. And I was like, you know what? I need to talk about this because I know I have a lot of fan, uh, uh, fans and followers and subscribers that are like retro gamers and this is big uh, especially people that are into the arcade one up cabinets this falls in line with something that i would like to talk about so i'm excited about this i'm definitely gonna be picking this up on day one i uh, can't wait to actually play some of these games i've never experienced on the neo geo uh like you know like there's so many of these games i haven't even played and yeah i know i have a main cabinet but to have something that looks like a miniature version of the authentic product I think it's way past cool. I'm a fan of Metal Slug. I like Samurai Showdown. Um, World of Heroes, I used to play the crap out of that. Art of Fighting on the Super Nintendo. So, I mean, 500 bucks is not too bad of an Axkin price for 50 games considering arcade one-ups are 300 or 400 bucks. And some of them only have four games tops. This is a great value. So, <laughs> honestly, I'm, I'm absolutely sold on it. So... The MVSX, guys. I'm going to leave a link in the description for you guys to go to the website. Should you guys want to check it out. What do you guys think? Comment down below. Let me know your thoughts. Is this something that you're going to sink your teeth into? Or is this something that you're going to pass because you don't care for any of these little arcade one-up wannabes and clones and little arcade machines and you're like Shady J and you're just frowning upon it? Let me know. Subscribe if you haven't already. Don't forget to leave a like. I'll see you on the next one. Peace out.